Hi, I'm Melissa Altman Traub. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and assistant professor of dietetics at the Community College of Philadelphia. I've taught Introduction to Nutrition there for 14 years. Today I'm going to share with you some information about iProfile, which is available in Wiley Plus for Grassmanner and Smolin introductory nutrition textbooks. iProfile is nutrient analysis software and it allows students to record and analyze their food intake and their physical activity. You'll find it from clicking on the colorful citrus logo at the top of the screen once you enter Wiley Plus. So what I'd like to share with you today are first some advantages about using iProfile from the perspective of the student as well as the instructors and then some teaching ideas. So first of all, for students, one great feature is that the database is huge. There are actually over 50,000 different foods in it. So there are a lot of brand name foods, restaurant foods, ingredients, and ethnic foods. Um, so that's really great. If you've ever tried to use Super Tracker for projects from my plate, you know, it's really frustrating to work from a smaller database. There's also lots of nutrients. So sometimes students will say, well, can I just use a free app? but their app does not contain all the vitamins and minerals that you may want them to report on for your projects. Secondly, the reports are really clear and easy to understand. On the right hand side, there are bar graphs. So it shows students visually how much they've had of each nutrient. Even if uh, looking at the numbers and different units is a little complicated, the bar graphs really help to make it clear for them. Um, you may have them do a three day diet analysis project. And it makes it easy to um, analyze this because you just click on the calendars at the date when you start recording your information and when you finish recording, and then you get the intake compared to DRI report. This includes the averages for every nutrient, and it really helps to eliminate the math mistakes, which can come when students are calculating their own averages. The third advantage, which I think is great for students, is the mobile app. Students can download a free mobile app onto their phones or tablets, and then they can record food information as they go about their day, and that helps with uh, not forgetting things that we eat in the course of a day. From the instructor's perspective, one, I find it to be really easy to use. I teach online a lot, and I used to have students come in for a training session to learn how to use other diet analysis software. Um, now it's really simple. Most of them just figure it out on their own with maybe minimal help. Um, so that makes it much easier. The most important thing, I think, is to tell them about portion sizes. So there are videos right in iProfile um, that helps them to estimate their portion sizes. And then you want to make sure that students select the correct units. They can choose the common food from the food search. It's marked, it's marked with a C in parentheses. Um, and that gives them the options with the most household measurement sizes. Also, from the instructor's end, the reports are very easy to work with. Students have a choice. They can save them as a PDF file, as an Excel spreadsheet. Um, they can print them out or export them to you. So whatever is easiest for you to work with. Personally, I like to have the students save them as PDF files. Um, they can save them on their computer or in a flash drive, and then they can just submit it into the learning management system. It makes it really organized and easy to grade. You don't have to track them down um, through your email and get them organized, and then you don't have those giant stacks and tote bags of projects to, to bring home to work on. Um, as far as teaching, well, there are a lot of things you can do. One is that there are gradable case studies which are already in Wiley Plus. You can assign these for homework, and then there are multiple choice questions that the students do, and they're automatically graded. So I think this would work really well if you have a large class. It also can be a good warm-up activity to help students learn evaluation skills and help them to do their own three-day analysis. I've used these in class for group activities, and I think they'd work well for flipped classrooms as well. Um, secondly, um, I've had students analyze like value fast food meals, um, and large restaurant meals to learn more about our food environment and portion sizes. So that's always a fun assignment for them to do. Um, using iProfile, students can create multiple profiles to use for in-class assignments. I like to have them interview people so their assignments are all different, but if you want, you can assign them the same 24-hour recall to analyze. So I have an assignment now for the Mediterranean diet and students work in a group of four they interview somebody, it could be anybody they want, and compare their intake and in iProfile to the facets of the Mediterranean diet. So they're looking at some nutrients, they're also looking at the MyPlate servings, um, and that's a really good example to teach them more about healthy dietary patterns. 
Um, I also use a life cycle case study. So I have students work in partners and find somebody to interview from a life cycle group. So I give them options between children, uh, pregnant women, breastfeeding women, older adults, and teens. Um, and then they choose this person, um, analyze their food intake, compare it to the nutrients they need, and then they're asked questions about specific nutrients of concern for the life cycle which they chose. So I think that really helps them to connect well with the material. Of course, there's a three-day diet analysis project. So many of us use this, um, and I have them divided into three parts. So first, they write down their information, put it into iProfile, or just do it right from their mobile app. Um, generate their reports and answer some questions about macronutrients, protein RDA, energy balance, etc. In the next part, I have them analyze their macronutrient intake or energy balance um, and help to set some objectives for improvement. And then finally, I have them go through vitamins, minerals, and water intake. Um, so I think that's kind of the classic project that we use to help students to really learn more about nutrients and connect it to themselves. And another thing that um, I think is useful, you can use it for recipes if you're teaching culinary students. So if they're working on developing recipes or making recipes more healthful, I've actually used it for a service learning project and we're helping an organization improve and kind of uh, you know modernize their recipes so that they were more heart healthy. And students did that and then gave them to the organization to use. Um, so I hope that those ideas really help you and I wish you much success as you get started with iProfile. Thank you. Take care.